Turn to business, plant breeders at the National Agricultural Research Organization are in advanced stages of releasing a banana variety that mirrors 100% characteristics of indigenous varieties. Now, in an interview with Olivia Nakalembi, the researchers revealed that this new variety will not only improve food security, but will also change the public's perception of local research. Take a look. Plant breeders at the Kawanda-based National Agricultural Research Organization Laboratories, NARO, are working around the clock to put final detail on a banana variety that is expected will offer exactly the same characteristic as indigenous varieties. We are improving most of the local varieties, if not all. And uh, you can name it, we have Mbazirume, we have Chisansa, we have Nachitembe, we have Mporogoma, <coughs> we have Nachetengu. Even depending on the region where you come from, these varieties are given different names. The variety is currently under field trials and is expected to be released in 18 months. The researchers require at least six years to release a banana variety. This will be a follow-up to the two varieties released in 2018 that share at least 90% of characteristics with indigenous varieties. For long, the breeding program has faced criticism over releasing varieties that do not meet the consumer's tests and preferences, but it's believed the new research will solve this challenge. Maybe there wasn't good communication which you are addressing now or whatever, but the bananas which were supposed to be used for dessert or juice were cooked. As a result, they gave a bad name to Kawanda, which we are struggling, which we are struggling to, 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 to bring back. Since 2010, Naro has released banana varieties that are pest and disease resistant. Our local varieties suffer from many problems, including diseases, then uh, pests, and uh, that is the reason they give very small bunches. So we are developing or generating varieties which have resistance to those, to those diseases so that we have bigger bunches and more money and more food. These varieties include Naroban 1, Naroban 2, Naroban 3, Naroban 4, Naroban 5, Cabana 6 and Cabana 7. These varieties are expected to increase food production by yielding more per hectare. According to the UBOS Annual Agricultural Survey Report, Uganda produced 6.5 million tons of banana in 2018 with a 12.3 tons yield per hectare. This tonnage is expected to increase with the new varieties. These varieties are better adapted to resist prolonged drought given the large leaf cover. They can weigh 60 to 83 kilograms a bunch and can bring economic returns of 12 million to 17 million per hectare per year. Farm accessibility to the released varieties has always been a challenge, a problem Naro is tackling. The Zono Agricultural Research Institute, almost in each region, if you went to Mbarara, you would find the Mbarara Zono Agricultural Research. If you went to Hoima, there is Urindi. If you went to Fort Potro, if you went to East in Ujinyanya. So we always take these technologies, all these, these, these varieties there. Olivia Nakalembe, NBS, live at nine. Now the East African